Well, Palm Springs celebrating 85 years as a city. And as our Steve Summerall shows us, one of the city's celebrated residents receiving a prestigious honor in this edition of Our Desert Past. As part of Palm Springs' 85th anniversary celebration, we're going to listen to the words of a very beloved entertainer. As the daughter of the chairman of the board, she may be the closest thing our valley has to royalty. And I don't need to tell you what her boots are made for. <laughs> These boots were made for walking to downtown Palm Springs. It dawned on me that the city is two years older than I am. <laughs> I'm not sure how I actually feel about that. Actually, as the Grand Marshal of the Palm Springs 85th Anniversary Classic Car Parade, these boots were made for riding. And after being presented with the key to the city, Ms. Sinatra expressed words of appreciation for our beautiful desert, as well as words of gratitude for her desert neighbors. It would be an honor to be given a key to this city that I have called home for years. The Coachella Valley was my dad's favorite place on earth. I could say the same for my mom. Mom and dad lived here permanently and seasonally for their entire lives. I miss them. My parents first came to Palm Springs in 1939. I came a short time later when we moved to California from New Jersey in 1945. We stayed at a place called the Long Palm Motel, and do you remember that? <laughs> well, the bellman used to wheel us around, my baby brother and me, used to wheel us around on the luggage cart, I guess to keep us out of trouble. There was only one paved road, Palm Canyon Drive, one grocery store, Jerry's, which was named for its owner, Jerry Nathanson. One nightclub, the Cheat Sheet. <laughs> Anybody remember these yeah. places? Two landmarks, the El Mirador and the Racket Club. And lots and lots of open space. My brother and I would roam around this little town and buy penny candy and go exploring. Frankie Tino and I had a multitude of great experiences growing up here as children. I married my late husband, Hugh Lambert, here. This is my daughter, Amanda Lambert. We got married in Cathedral City at the St. Louis Catholic Church, which was really just an army barracks until my dad raised the money to build an actual church. Thank you, Dad. My daughters have been coming here since birth, and now my granddaughters are experiencing the beauty and wonder of this beautiful place. <laughs> and the beat goes on. For our desert past, Steve Summerall, NBC Palm Springs, News First. And the beat goes on. I love looking at all those historical photos of Palm Springs. It's just incredible that she's only two years younger than the city, but still had all those memories and some of those places still standing. It's, yeah. just, it's pretty cool to hear about. Cool. Love the Sinatras. All right, coming up next in sports, 